Welcome back. So before we went to break, I was talking about one of the potential headaches that you could have when you're RVing or pulling a trailer or anything like that. And that headache is leveling the trailer. Now let's say, of course, if you're rolling a toy hauler like this, you may not always be staying at a nice, perfectly level <laughs> campground. You're probably tucked out in the woods somewhere where you never know if you're on the side of a kind of a, a rolling hill, you want to level that out. And by the time you park and stop, I mean, that could take an hour, right? And that is where our new system comes in right here. And this is nice. It's the Level Up Automatic Six Point Leveling System from Lippert Components. And this is going to make your life a lot easier. Yeah, rather than wasting all that time trying to level up, or having to carry a bunch of stuff with you, you know, wood blocks or jack stands or whatever it might be to get level. Plus the fact that it's really a safety issue too, because not only do you have a big investment sitting on uh, jack stands or concrete blocks or whatever it might be, right. or yourself sitting inside, you know, it's much easier to do with a system like this. Now this one is nice. It's a six point system, which is great for a long trailer like this because you've got equal points of pickup. You've got one up front, be front before the axles and after them. This way it'll pick up nice and level. It won't twist the chassis at all, and especially when you've got slide outs like this. You don't want to system where it might twist and then you won't be able to get the slide out out or get it back in. They also talk about stability as well. Well, you want to have comfort when you're out on the campsite, right? You don't want this thing rocking in the wind or when you're walking around it moving on you. That's where this system comes into play. It allows you to be nice and stable and allow you to have a good time out of the campsite. Hey, the best part is it's easy to use. You simply come back here and you turn it on. So basically, once we want to disengage the truck from here, all we have to do is hit front and that will engage the landing gear right here on the front of the trailer. That lifts it up, that way we can disengage the hitch, pull the truck out of the way, and then all we have to do is hit auto level and one touch of the button and it starts doing all the work. You can simply sit back and watch or just go start yeah, you dig into the cooler at that point. <laughs> Let it do the work for you. Now, when it comes time to leave, it's just as easy as well because there's a, a nice little feature in here. What you do is you hold down the left and the right button, and it'll go right back to the pin height you were just at. So there's no guesswork involved. You don't spend a lot of time guessing around trying to find that pin height again. It does it for you, man. That's pretty cool. As easy as it is for the end user to use the system once it's installed, the installation itself can be a bit more cumbersome. Yeah, that's got to be done by factory trained technicians. Fortunately, there are some at Camping World right down the road, so we thought it would be cool to go ahead and send a camera down there and watch those guys do the work. Yeah, check this out. It was a great time to drop by Camping World. They just so happened to be doing a training class on the Level Up product, so it was all hands on deck for this one. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have all the components included in the Level Up kit for the install. There are really three major components to this kit. You've got the cylinders, the power unit, and the fluid control system. After the kit is laid out, they need to make sure that the trailer has a good level stance. First, they measure in front of the axle to find the current ride height to the bottom I-beam. It's 23 inches. Then they do the same thing to the rear of the axle, and they also get 23 inches. So the coach is already level. If it wasn't, they could compensate in the brackets because the holes in the bracket allow for different bolting configurations. Now, in order to transfer the correct ride height to the bracket, that 23 inches has to be at the weld point where the bracket meets to the frame. Then they can lay the leg on the bracket and the bottom foot pad needs to be between eight and nine inches when fully retracted and that's where you can bolt your leg to the new bracket. Once that leg is bolted to the new bracket, it can get welded into place. An advantage to the hydraulic system is that the cylinders share the fluid in pairs, always maintaining even pressure per leg, giving the coach overall stability, never allowing accidental twisting of the frame. Now that the lines are plumbed and attached to each leg, they can go to work on the front two legs or the landing gear. So some modifications need to be made to the floor to make room for the new legs. After the new bracket is welded into place, they use a torch to cut out the floor and slide the new legs into position. Level Up is really a plug and play unit. This LCI controller handles all of the leveling from front to back and there is a similar unit that mounts in the center section that measures side to side. Well that wraps up the Level Up install at Camping World. Meanwhile, let's head back to the shop and we'll show you how to correctly align any fifth wheel trailer. Traditionally, when people think about alignment, they only think about the tires on the front of their car or truck. But when it comes to hauling a big trailer like this, you can also think about the alignment with your trailer axles, and those can get out of whack. Now think about it, that out of whack is always due to uneven weight distribution. So when the trailer is manufactured and everything is bolted and welded into place, 
then it's filled up with furniture and other things, and then somebody like Bruno comes along and buys it and fills it up with a bunch more stuff. Yeah, the end user is the problem when it comes to having misalignment, because it comes square from the factory, by the time you get it, you've got a bunch of furniture, a bunch of stuff in it, you put your toys in the back, you put sure. your toolboxes, and you really throw off the distribution of weight inside, which twists everything and throws the alignment off a of track. Well, the way we can fix it is by using a very cool tool from the guys at Mobile Outfitters. It's the correct track trailer alignment system. It's gonna allow us to compensate for any end user damage to our balance of the vehicle. Now, the first thing we need to do is come down here and take a couple of measurements. And what we wanna do is get a fixed point right here where the pin of the trailer is and measure to the front side of the tires on each side. And that will, that will let us determine if the distance is the same and, and how our axle is twisted. So what we do is, in anything else, like when you say measure twice, cut once, we measured a couple times and we took our average on each side. So over here on the right, our average came out to 22 feet nine and a quarter inches. Over here on the left hand side, it came out to 22 nine. So we had a difference of a quarter inch from side to side. Now, we can use this and we can adjust it and we can either push that side back a quarter inch or bring this side up a quarter inch. It really doesn't make much difference either way. Now we had a very cool tool to determine those distances, but at home, don't be frightened. You, it's something you guys can do. Just use a plumb bob and a string or, or a tape measure and you can get the same measurements. Yep. Like Matt said, make sure you've got it all weighted down and make sure you're nice and flat and take those times with the take time with your measurements. Now when it comes to using the system, this is how you make up for the misalignments. Now this right here is the mounts and this is going to relocate the mount for your spring. Now traditionally be mounted right here, what we're doing is we're moving it down to this hole and you can see there's a slot inside of here. That allows us to, with a click so to speak, you can adjust it a quarter inch right there, two clicks right there, puts you at a half inch and allows you to move that point of that spring and that axle forward or back to correct the misalignment issues you've got with your rig. So once you get everything locked down and in place, you want to check your work and you're going to do that with a secondary set of measurements. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you roll the axle at least one full rotation. In fact, better yet, if you've got a couple minutes, drag it around the neighborhood or around the block once or twice, bring it back. That way the suspension has a chance to settle and everything's in place before you take those secondary measurements. Yep. So with this in place, you'll make those secondary measurements. You'll go again to that front tire and then you can go in here and make your adjustments front or back and get make sure everything's square with that front axle. Then use that front axle to measure each of the other axles. Now you've got a nice square uh, trailer going down the road. You're not dragging it, you're using it behind you. It's going with you and you're saving tires. A, a tire blow, it's never a good thing. Never happens at a good time mm. and it can be dangerous and tear up your rig. Nope, it's the correct track from Mobile Outfitters and it's gonna help you avoid all that mess.